friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is emulsified silicon oil the patient has undergone vitreo retinal surgery in this eye about 1 year ago and the silicon oil has come in the anterior chamber probably through some genular dehiscent areas the patient has developed white mature cataract today's plan is to remove the cataract implant an intraocular lens and then hand over the case for vitreoretinal surgeon who will remove the silicon oil so by this time all the incisions have been made and now i'm going to stain the anterior capsule of the cataract with trypan blue dye the trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule the air bubble has come out the silicon oil as well as the dye is washed out and we can see the white mature cataract we can also see two areas of posterior synechia one is at 6 o'clock another one is at around 9 o'clock Now I am going to inject visco in the anterior chamber the anterior chamber is no this is a bit of adrenaline but with adrenaline the people became small some more visco and with visco the people dilates and now i'm going to break the synechia with a blunt instrument and the blunt instrument is my blunt chopper and the synechia are broken now i'm going to do capsulorexis the anticapsule is torn by the ureter forceps itself the capsular tag is held and the tag is guided in this way all around to do the erexis silicon oil changes the character of the capsule the capsule becomes more thick and rigid and it doesn't usually run away to the periphery now as i am doing hydrodissection i find something wrong the anterior chamber becomes shallow and as i tap on the nucleus the shallow anterior chamber doesn't become deep so i am injecting visco again the nucleus didn't rotate so there could be some pre-existing posterior capsular rent in this case so 
so I am aspirating some cortex and then I turn the handpiece to make it bevel up and now I'm going to divide this nucleus you can see the oil is coming from 6 o'clock so there must be some dehiscent area either in the anterior either in the jonule or in the posterior capsule this is a nuclear piece it has been removed and this is another actually all these are epinucleus and we can see a rent existing rent and through this rent a lot of silicon oil has come in the anterior chamber now I'm going to use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the cortex when there is silicon oil in the vitreous cavity we need not worry about dropping some lens matter it will not drop so lot of silicon oil is coming to the anterior chamber So now my plan is to implant an intraocular lens and the lens I want to place the lens in the back. Since there is a rent which is from center towards 6 o'clock I place the lens over the eyes first and now my plan is to place the lens in the capsular bag. Now as I inject visco, a bolus of silicon oil comes out completely and a portion of the other bolus comes out. And now I'm going to place the trailing haptic first in the capsular bag. I push it downward and dial and it goes in the capsular bag. Now I rotate the eye wheel, bring the leading haptic superiorly at around 11 o'clock and then I go through the side port again and before that I inject some more visco and now go through the side port and push this haptic downward and dial it into the capsular bag now the existing piece end had fibrous margins so it didn't extend my vitreotinal colleague is going to make a small opening with cutter just behind the intraocular lens and just at the center of the pupillary area 
because the posterior capsule is fibrosed and it is very difficult to make an opening in this fibrous capsule by ear glazer. You can see there are some small silicon oil bubbles in the anterior chamber. I'm removing those silicon oil bubbles and now I form the anterior chamber nicely and since this eye is going for vitreoretinal surgery immediately after this surgery I place a tenon nylon suture at the main wound this is two on on suture trim the threads near the knot and now remove the air bubbles from the anterior chamber and leave it here. The knot is buried in the tissue and I conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in managing such cases.